Taurus. What is going on, baby? They won't ignore us. They sure won't. Honey, it is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpio Red Tarot. I am back at it. I am in the building for December 2020. Show me the monthly energy. Can y'all believe we are in December? Already, you guys, it's Christmas time. Yes, it's, it's Christmas time coming up, you guys. Are you ready? Yes, I like to cha cha. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, ole, ole. Oh, say, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I was about to go to Mexico this Christmas. Listen, Corona fucked it up. Okay, I'm sorry. They done fucked up the thing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let my. <laughs> Shout out to Funky Don't even they don't fucked up the time. Okay, listen, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me let me get myself together. Let me get myself sensitive towards goodness. You know how I be up in here, boo. You already know. Listen, can I <laughs> Taurus? Taurus, listen, no, I'ma tell y'all what I was channeling before. <laughs> <laughs> when I start putting the cards out, Taurus, y'all gonna have me laughing already because y'all being a mess already, y'all. If y'all don't know who I am, y'all, I'm Scorpion Red Tarot. If you don't know, if you've never been here, we laugh, we praise, we cuss, and we have a good ass damn time here. So if you ain't ready for that, listen, just go ahead and find somewhere else to go because we're gonna cut up and, <laughs> and go in today, okay? It's the last month of the year. You already know we about to have fun in here, okay? We are reloaded, okay? So listen. There's anyone who would like to book a personal private reading with me, Rishi Rivera, click the description on this video or check the about tab on my uh, page, y'all, because I can't even talk too much, y'all. Listen, I, follow the instructions for how to book, because I got to get this out. I got to get this channeling out, y'all. So listen. <laughs> Let's just quickly say a prayer. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Taurus. Listen, they will not ignore us. We are stable and able to seize the Father God. We are busting through the doors and kicking tail, okay? Going into 2021, Father God. 2020 has surely showed up and showed out. A lot of people were able to show us the money and that's why they ain't going into 2021 with us father god but everyone who has paid their way and to stay listen everything gonna be okay everything is going to be okay father god we have just been patiently developing our skills during this time We've been allowing people to remove their self. Sometimes you got to allow people to just remove their self, Father God, because we don't want to be carrying no dead weight and no extra baggage with us going into the new year, Father God. Listen to me. We are so glad for all of the movements and the transitions going on in our life. We want to continue to transition on into our greatness in the name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Okay, now listen, y'all. I got to tell y'all about this channel, okay? Let me get these cards out here. <laughs> y'all. So as I was shuffling the decks, right, to clean the decks to start y'all reading, this song popped up in my head. Now, mind you, I don't even think I've ever heard the real song, the, the whole full song, because this was a little bit before my time. But I've definitely heard little snippets of the song, y'all. So I'm sitting up here shuffling, and it's come on. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. You got to have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. You got to have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. No romance without finance. Hey, oh, <laughs> No romance without finance. I said, hold on, Taurus, go to fuck in. No romance without finance. Break it down, break it down, break it down. Hey, no romance without finance. Hey, hey, Taurus, they ain't going listen, they ain't going to ignore us. Taurus, did you... Hold on. Taurus said you got to have a J-O-B. Come on. Listen, you got to have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. The victory is here. Get your feet out the door. Listen, I ain't never seen no blessings about to come into my life the way that they is. Come on. Can you say victory is here? Hello. Hello. Taurus said ain't going to ignore me, not in 2021, honey. We came to have fun. Listen, victory is here. If you ain't got no job, if you being a slob, if you, okay, you ain't got your shit together. No romance without finance, honey. Listen, there ain't going to be no goddamn current connection over here. I'm sorry. No romance without finance. Hold on, come on. I got to have a J-O-B if you want to be with me. Listen, if you 
want to be with Taurus, okay, you better not ignore us and you better not ignore yourself. You better go get your life together. There will not be no, listen, victory is here, okay? Victory is here. We getting our feet up out the door because God's calling a new day. We getting ready for overflow because, listen, I'm getting ready to see something I ain't never seen. And a motherfucker that ain't got no job ain't something I'm trying to see. I don't want that type of candidate. <laughs> A uh, fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel said, listen, I'm about to use my throat chakra and tell you to stop her. I'm going to use my throat chakra and tell you to stop her. If your ass ain't got your finances and your situations together, if you in a situation chip, any of the bullshit, I'm going to let you know, okay? If you ain't got a J-O-B, you can't be with me. No romance without finance, okay? Listen, when you claim victory over your life, you do not tolerate no bullshittery, Okay? <laughs> you be with the bull crittery. You be with the bull quit that shit. The bull quittery, okay? I'm quitting the bullshit. Bull quittery, okay? I just made up that word. I don't even know if that shit makes sense. But it is going to make sense to that. Okay, goddamn it. Okay? No romance without finding. Listen, I, I knew. <laughs> and then you got your throat chakra. Like you was speaking out with the glory because they don't know your story. You were claiming victory. Listen, y'all might not be in a very caring you know, you guys may not be tripping off of whatever connection that was currently facing you. They're thinking about replacing you, okay? So I don't know if you're the Taurus where you're like focusing on victory and speaking your truth and whatever connection this was, it ain't going the way you wanted it to go to this. Oop. Okay, y'all just popping out like that. You got the strength card, and then you got the high priestess in the reverse, so... Uh, okay. The strength card is basically you controlling your temptations, and there could be some type of lustful desire for someone. There could have been some information that came out about somebody that they tried to keep hitting, but it just poked its ugly head out like... It, it really did. You know what I'm saying? It, it did. Um, you said it, it was quite shocking. Like whatever was exposed or you found out about someone, there could have been another woman. The high priestess, you know, in the reverse, there always is like the, another woman. You know, so it's either there was another woman or there was a sneaky suspicion <coughs> Excuse me, about someone's behavior <clears throat> oh shit I'm coughing like motherfucker could have been sick shit ew ew like the motherfucker like these oh uh, uh, uh. no hold on no no cause I'm looking at do y'all see those little um y'all see those little things on the moon like that and I just start coughing out of nowhere. Jesus, Lord help me. Clarify the high priestess in the revert. Oh, gee, Lord. Gee. And y'all just want to be talking today. Why y'all just talking like this? Taurus, goddamn. Y'all just like, listen, Reds, I got a story to tell you. Here, here, here go. Okay? <laughs> now, I ain't want no one for gossip. So you ain't heard that for me. No, you didn't. Okay, no, you haven't. Mm -mm. From what I heard, she was a dutty whore. Okay, somebody was out there with a third party situation. There was someone out there doing some uh, dutty whore situations. Okay, there was, a, there was being dutty whores. Okay, someone is having current nightmares and daydreams about what was said, what was done, and what's about to come out. Because motherfuckers knew shit was about to come out. Okay? And they knew motherfuckers were going to get hurt eventually. And that was really lurking was going to appear. It's ugly. Hey, y'all, why do I feel like someone got herpes, y'all? Oh, my God. I really do. I really do. I really do. I feel like someone knew that this shit was going. I'm so, I'm so sorry, y'all. Because this ain't cool, y'all. This ain't cool. This ain't cool, bruh. Because, like, someone been running around, keeping a lot of secrets, 
telling tales and it's like they knew that this shit was going to come back to haunt them eventually like all of these lies all of these alibis all of these spies and shit oh who's spying y'all who's spying listen to three of cups i'm trying to tell you this motherfucker been partying been having a good time like Oh, and then you got the hierophant. This person could have been in a situation, married, committed, but they out there partying, celebrating, going over to people's houses, like, you know, going to other people's engagement parties, not to, mm, it's like, ooh. It's like, they, they say you're going to other people's engagement parties and not telling people that you're an adulterer. Not wanting to hear what, not wanting to hear what people saying. It's like some, it's, it's like I feel like some people saying some shit about. It's like they're saying something about this, this, this third party shit and what's been going on. Like this shit coming out. I'm gonna stab someone right in the chest and they and, and whoever. This is, it's like they knew that this shit was bound to happen. They knew that this shit was going to come out in this group or in this group setting. They knew it. Eventually, like, do you see how the Hierophant, next to the Hierophant, you see how those keys is up in that tree right there? It's like they were, like, everyone was going to have access to this information. And it's like, of course, y'all waited for, like, Thanksgiving to expose it. It's like y'all waited for for Thanksgiving to expose it or y'all waiting for they said Thanksgiving I feel like something got exposed around Thanksgiving time or something it was very hurtful very hurtful and so you're someone's extra estranged from you or you're exchange estranged from someone you moving on claiming victory and again I feel like Cause and now they're singing victory is here. Get your feet out the door. God's calling in a new day. We're getting ready for overflow. I'm getting ready to see something I ain't never see. So yeah, you you you're definitely claiming victory over your life. You are presently in a state of strength and controlling your temptations and controlling your desires. You had to do something that you didn't want to do. The world's in the reverse. Like someone could have turned your world upside down, and you feel like you could have made a mistake. Like committing yourself or getting yourself entangled in a, in a group you know desiring to be in a group of people of savages god why are y'all saying that wow <laughs> what is going on uh -uh. Uh -uh. cause it's like too much is being said in this social group in this social group right here Secrets is coming out. Gossip is being exchanged. People going back home like. Frightened at the thought of what else is going to be exposed to come out. Because this, this, this right here. This high priestess in the reverse. This three of swords and this nine of swords. Like this is someone knowing that they did something to her to betray someone. And. They're presently having daydreams and night terrors of what else is being said behind their back about the things that have been done with this person right here. And I do feel, I definitely do feel like someone is going to tell someone that someone has herpes or something. And it's like these people are laughing and joking about this shit at some type of like family gathering or something it's like oh yeah you don't know that that motherfucker got <laughs> and it's like why in the fuck would you tell her that like why would you expose that information about me or whatever because your ass a hoe like everybody know your ass be out there like you know what i'm saying it's like this in the throat chakra like things are being spoken like truth is being spoken about like an unwedded uncared connection like I don't feel like these people are, are wedded or like together you know what I'm saying like there's something missing in this connection and it's definitely because you even see how you speak now or forever hold your truth or so help you God it's like they just letting it 
the information come out, it's like, to like, I ain't mean to bother you, but I feel like it's some drunk family members or something like that. You could be over, like, the leader's house, so this could be, like, the father's house, or, like, y'all could be over the father's house or something like that. Um, the Hierophant is, like, the leader or, or, you know what I'm saying? The group head. I, I really, I feel like it's someone, like, it's a father or, um, like, a mentor, a group, some type of group. It's like, why the fuck would you say that shit? Why the fuck would you say that? Why would you tell them these things about me? And it's like, you knew these motherfuckers get drunk and they sit over there and gossip. And it's like, the leader doesn't say shit about it. It's just like, they just let, they just let things spiral out of control with this world in the reverse. It's like, the leader is not saying anything about it. Just letting gossip and letting shit wreak havoc. And things just going to just keep rotating over and over again. It's like. The same thing keeps happening over and over. Like. She keeps getting exposed. Shit keeps getting exposed at like. Dinners and something like that. That's why it's like I don't I don't be wanting to go. It's like someone doesn't want to go to to some type of social in interaction with someone over this leader's house, over this director's house, over this pastor's house, over someone. Like, I don't even think it's a pastor or anything like that because they over there drinking and having it up and shit like that. But whoever the Hierophant is, I think the Hierophant in this group of people is like the elder, the person that speaks the most sense and the most truth. So if people are sitting around gossiping, do something to change your energy. Okay, so like if people are gossiping and talking about you and you don't want to hear it and you're scared of what people are going to say some say about you, like the Hierophant, the Hierophant is like a person that It's going to teach you well, but releases the control for you to have your own free will and your own actions. You get out what you put out there. You get back what you put out. You know that. You understand? So that's why the Hierophant is trying to teach whoever this is that's doing this to the Taurus or that this Taurus did to someone that your world is going to lead, is going to repeatedly experience the same thing. You're going to keep repeating the same chapters or two you're able and willing to change like these people are not going to pull the change up out of you people are not going to not speak their truth and not say what they need to say like if you've done if you done sneaky things that hurt people they're laughing about it and it's hurting you and it's hurting someone else but the truth was going to come out anyway you know what i'm saying like it was going with the high priestess in the reverse it's, it was going to come out anyway. Regardless of if you like it or not. Like these people like to talk. They like to gossip. That's just their way. What goes on in the dark. Will come in the light. So if you don't want people to say things about you. You have to. You have to change. Your standard of living. You can't do certain things to people. And then get mad. Because everyone's sitting around a coffee table laughing and enjoying feasting on your gossip and now you sitting back worrying, worrying why things ain't changing in your life with this world card in reverse you have to learn from you know that, that that's like the strength card in the victory over here whoever this was that was dealing with this person Taurus you walked away with the strength card you learn from it you learn from it you learned how to control yourself. I know that this person hurt me and I love them, but I have to love myself more than my desires to be with someone that is showing me that they don't respect me. Do you get me? 
So they, they, this person right here is not going to let their world be turned around because of this. They're not going to let people be sitting back <laughs> at Christmas time or standing over the turkey talking shit, gossiping about them. And then when they come uh, into the room, everybody get quiet and stuff. Don't nobody like that feeling? And again, like, I really do feel someone was like, well, what the fuck is, what's going on? Some came, so, ooh, some came out, y'all. Listen, this says dance with life. Do something to change your energy. If you, and then you see how that moon is right there? I definitely feel like something was exposed. Something was communicated. This wasn't a caring connection that someone thought that it was. Some secrets did come out. And if you don't want things to stay the same, then you need to change. You need to learn how to move appropriately. You you have to learn how to move a little bit differently. I'm about to move around a little bit here with these decks. I guess I'm just going to do everybody's different. However, I'm going to move. Clarify the stance with life. <clears throat> You got the high priestess. The, the high priestess, man. The high priestess. So, this high priestess card is basically telling me, like, you understand the standard of self-love. You have regained balance within yourself. You have balance of the darkness and of the light. Your shadow and of your light. You understand the day and the night. So, you're gone within yourself. Um... You're focusing on your self-advancement. You're focusing on your heritage. Um, you're focused on your self-learning. Your growth. You elevating. And also, it's like... <clears throat> it's something that you're holding inside that you're not willing to release yet um, to the world. You know, um, this young, this card just said, yeah, young, this card just said to me, I'm a diehard fan of victory, and you haven't seen the best of me yet. You fucking better go the fuck off, young. This bitch just said to me, I'm a diehard fan of victory, and you haven't seen the best of me. Y'all better go the fuck off. Go the fuck off, young. I study under the Hierophant. Like, no, she listened to the fucking Hierophant. Whoever this other person is may not have listened. Whoa. Yo, okay, clarify this, please. Clarify the High Priestess. She said, I learned from the best. I understand the standard of life I'm trying to live. The emperor. The high priestess and the emperor. So that's definitely the Taurus. Yo. So I'm getting like. Because the Taurus. This is the Taurus energy. Taurus Aries energy. And this is. What do they always say? I always look at the high priestess as. Uh, Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Like, I definitely do. I definitely do. Even though they say it's Cancer and Pisces, I definitely look at it as a water sign woman in general. Um, this woman is all knowing. This man is very resourceful. It's like, this is a dynamic, um, duo here. It's like he loves her for her independence and her knowledge. Because um, he couldn't be who he is without her. Without her gifts. And without his sense of security and trust and stability. Like she likes to be to herself so she can practice and study and steadily obtaining guidance and learning do you understand he is steady nurturing her taking care of her making sure that she has a comfortable environment so that she can focus on herself 
these two work very, very well together. I feel that um, there's definitely a water and earth or water and fire mixture here that would work very well with each other. But it's like there, there, there needs to be a release of secrets and whatever this drama is here. What is this? The Hierophant. Okay, now, come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. And it's like, you see how this man is going to seek forgiveness from the Hierophant from something that he did? Like, this right here, bruh. Seriously? Like, there is going to be... I, I definitely feel like there is going to be some commitment here um, between whoever the high priestess is, whoever this is, she's alone. Remember we said the strength card here with the victory? The high priestess represents from someone that is by herself. She's by herself. We already said there wasn't a caring connection here. Someone used their throat chakra, spoke out. Listen, strength, I'm better than this. You know? I'm like, because people don't understand when someone hurts you, my nigga. Like, it takes a lot of strength to walk away because you may still very much love the person. I'm not going to allow you to hide and think you can keep things from me. The high priestess in reverse. You can't hide nothing from a true high priestess. Like, no, you cannot... You first off, your secrets will expose itself, but I done seen it before. Like, she could have walked away before certain shit even came out for real, for real. She walked away. She did, like, I, I, they're saying she could have walked away before she even got a chance to expose you or before you could expose yourself to her because she already knew what you would do. I feel like she could feel it. And, like, even though, like, she might have really cared about you or the situation, she felt like she would have been more victorious elsewhere. The Three of Swords, like, that could have left you feeling heartbroken and, and, and backstabbed because it's just like... Why the fuck she just get loose on me like that? Like, she gotta be hiding something. It gotta be more to the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, why would she just, like, release me like that or whatever? I do, It's something here. And it's also, I feel like there's something about someone that was being nasty and just frivolous and just out there. And, like, it was something deep lurking with this person Someone made the decision to walk away because I feel like she wanted to walk away before whatever nasty little secrets came out. And clearly with the high priestess in reverse, the three of swords and then the nine of fucking swords. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Whoever this was made the best decision for their self. Like they respected their self. They know their self. They love their self. They allowed you to go and party and enjoy yourself and be frivolous to do whatever the fuck you want to do. You know what I'm saying? I guess if that's your standard of life, that's cool. That's your doctrine. But it damn sure wasn't whoever this person's was. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't want to learn nothing from life and then that's your doctrine, then you do it. But you're not going to turn my world upside down because to participate in that would completely be this person not standing for nothing and not learning from anything that God has put them through and that's why they walked away it lit dance with life do something to change your energy if you don't like what's going on do something to change it this woman chose seclusion and this man chose royalty stepping up acting the part being responsible being something worth giving, worth catering to, worth... Like, the emperor is what you want. This is a man that's in control. This is a man that... Gets... Gets it. That goes out there and... and, and uh, ends meet. That go and gets ends meet or whatever. Like, his woman may not have to work. You know what I'm saying? Like... He does, he does the hard work. He does the heavy lifting. Like, he's a man's man. You know what I'm saying? He allows his woman to stay 
in her place. And if you see, you see how those beautiful roses, those flowers are at his foot. Like, he loves a beautiful home. Do you understand? Like, this is someone that's truly committed to a happy marriage, a happy, peaceful home environment. Definitely not someone with the world in the reverse and the three of swords and high priestesses on the side and all of that bullshit. Like, no, 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 no. Give me guidance and love for this person. Give me guidance and love for Taurus. You got Jackie Kennedy. Always be the first lady. Marry for love. For money, but most of all for companionship. Don't just take the picture, enter it. Y'all hear that? I'm so serious. Like, that's this right here. That is this. Again, always be the first lady. Marry for love, for money, but most of all for companionship. Don't just take the picture, enter it. Be the picture. You know what I understand? Legacy. What was this that was about to come out? Zelda Fitzgerald. It says you'll only be bored if you are boring. Life always needs a little drama and lots of dancing. Think only of today. Why worry about tomorrow? Remember this says dance with life. Do something to change your energy. I never, never even got this card. Zelda Fitzgerald. You're only be bored if you're born. Life always needs a little drama and lots of dancing. <laughs> Think only of today. Why worry about tomorrow? So be present. Enjoy your life like. What's the point of just sitting around stressing and worried about some shit that came out, what people are saying, how someone hurt you, how some shit got exposed, you learning someone's true feelings about you, like, mm-mm. Because a high priestess in reverse can be a whore, like, for real, for real. I have a, a whore, someone whoring around with multiple people, like, the three of cups and all, oh, no, baby. No baby, no baby, no baby, baby. <laughs> How was I supposed to know? Listen, she like, oh baby, baby. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> Bitch. Okay. How was I supposed to know you was out there with every Tom, Dick, Harry, and Joe and Schmo? <laughs> no, I gotta walk away. It don't matter how much I like you. Like I, I gotta separate myself from this. Like I can't do that with y'all. Give me guidance, cause this high priestess down here, she said she's looking for an emperor. She's looking for marriage. She's dancing with life. You know, you're only people. And again, this woman, cause. I'm taking that because it's the high priestess. The high priestess is someone that's typically by herself. She's by her lonesome. But you'll only be bored if you're boring. Like, I don't feel like this high priestess is boring at all. <laughs> like, life always needs a little drama and a lot of dancing. So, again, I don't feel like this woman, this high priestess, is alone at all. Her whole thing is about being the first lady. Marrying for love, money, but most importantly, companionship she ain't just trying to take the picture she's trying to answer it she wants commitment and love she don't want that that's why she went the fuck away and decided that victory was here she's not, she not doing that shit she vocalized and she spoke clearly about how she felt you know what i'm saying and she stood on the on she's standing on her ground the hierophant like this is about her legacy this is about her religious her religious beliefs like this person wants commitment she wants dedication you know period she ain't worried but she wants to be the first and only listen refusing to see this person is not refusing to see this situation for what it is this person sees very clearly the situation for what this is 
and it will speak it to you. Listen, I feel like you be out there too much. Listen, you're not about to break my heart fucking around with all of these other girls, especially if y'all have an unprotected sex. Man, it could be all type of diseases and shit out here and you fuck around with all these little huzzies and shit because they look good or what whatever they could give you. Like, you're not about to stab me in my heart. No, am I going to stay up thinking about who the fuck you been with? Where you been at driving myself crazy when I could be getting some fucking sleep? I want someone that's commitment worthy and that's stable. If you're not, I'm not going to let you stop where I'm going. I'm not slowing down for nobody. Like, do you understand? My world will forever turn around. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and it might, you may have stagnated me, but you're not going to stop my growth. Period. Period. And that's on period. And then what does it says? Change your focus. This person with this five of cups in the reverse here. The five of cups is um, clearly when you're sad, you're crying, you're moping, you're confused, you're delaying your heart from learning from the mistakes that it went through in this situation, you're delaying your heart from healing, you're just focused on your wounding. This person isn't doing that. You understand? This person is not like soaking, you know? This person is changing their focus. And that's why I'm taking it like this because the five of cups and the upright is when someone is mourning from something and they need to change their focus and look at the positive aspects in life that's truly in front of them and stop focusing on what's behind them. This came out in the reverse, so this told me that you are changing your focus, you know, and you're not refusing to see the daylight anymore. You see the truth. You understand? And you're changing your focus to focus on you right now, you know? you only be bored if you're boring. You're not boring. Listen, you out here trying to dance with life. You understand what this person did, but they need to understand what you about to do. You said that you want to be by yourself right now. You want someone that is loyal and committed. Someone that is responsible, able, and willing to provide a safe, secure, loving commitment to them. But this woman is the only one, not just the one. But the only one. So yeah, it may have took some time, but whoever this person is that found that strength in them, claim victory. Listen, they dancing. Listen, they taking the lead. And again, this is the Hierophant again. This is the Hierophant again. So this person is most definitely looking for commitment in marriage. That's it, bottom line. You got the Hierophant, goddamn, three times in y'all's reading. What is this? And then this is the moon. Y'all got the Hierophant in the moon. So I want to say you guys had to confront y'all shadow. This is something, I feel like God is trying to get someone to focus their energy on why someone went away. Getting someone to understand the truth and what a true, because this, this is about commitment, responsibility, standards, structure. Number four. Standard, structure, the hierophant, standard, structures, rules, someone willing to follow the rules, someone willing to play the part, everything. So with this moon card right here, I definitely feel it's like someone was being forced and being called to face their shadow. You know? It's like this gut inclination that... The things that's been going on is going to continue to go on. And people are going to continuously leave me. If I don't see the truth for what it is. It's ever. It's. Because I feel like this story is the story of someone. I, and again. I'm reading for Taurus. So this is either someone who left the Taurus. If this is a male Taurus. This could either be the story of a woman that left the male Taurus. Or this could be 
the story of the female Taurus who left a, a male energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? So take it how it resonates. I have on the, the um, receiving or the dishing in. But at the end of the day, whoever this person was that got left, they got left because this person that was in their energy was someone that wanted standards and commitment. And this person was forced to face their shadow because they couldn't keep living like that. And again, for the Hierophant to show up so much on this table, this person that was doing the wrongs, they feel bad about this shit. That nine is for This person feels bad and cannot stop thinking about what they did to this person. Even if they wanted to sit there and refuse to see. And was struggling to change the focus. They don't have any choice but to. Because this person. Used that strength card. As powerful as their lust. Temptation or desire was for them. They had more of a desire. To be free. And to enjoy life. And not be dealing with this pessimistic dumbass shit. You're not going to hurt me with this five of cups. You're definitely not. I see you for what you are. And I'm going to remain free. And. That may have been the call and the force you to change. So it's like intuitively you are being pulled to look at your own self a little bit here. You know, because I feel like there was whoever this is that got left. It was some secrets coming out about you that you regretted. That you didn't want to be exposed. That you feel sad about. That you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So. It was something that. Hmm. Give me guidance here. I really do feel like. This high fit right here, the high priestess, the emperor, the moon. She exposed certain things about you to yourself. Because she wanted you to know that she's seen these things about you. You know? It's like she told you without telling you by leaving you. And I, I don't... Even though I didn't say that it happened suddenly. I want to say that it did because I, this person... Is hurt. Because it's like how did she know. Like how did she know. And I feel like other people are talking about you. Or some people told this person. But I feel like she. Clarify that. Um... Yeah. This person took a break. Again. And this is like, this is like mental health, mental, it's like sickness, like mental health. Um, so, this person is estranged from you so that you could get yourself together on like a mental health level, a spiritual level, um, like a wanting yourself level. Because it's like the energy that this person was operating in, it's like you come from such... Um, a religious background or something like that. But it's like this person could have been not acting like it. You know what I'm saying? Like. This could be like. And, and I'm sorry. Like this could be because the high right here. The high right here. The high right here. And then the moon. So this could be like someone that was raised in a very, very religious uh, uh, household. And is sneaking behind their families back doing the dark arts or some shit like that like seeking like uh, uh 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 diving into the unknown or something do you understand and it may be against their religion or some shit like that but the high priestess in the reverse could be like you could be dealing with some low vibrational type of shit not like using your self intuition do you understand what i'm saying so like these are two totally different things and it's like God is forcing you 
it's like forced recognition of your shadow because people are going to continue to leave you this way like you have to take you have to take responsibility for your own actions and your own becoming you can't get upset because you act this way or you tend to believe this type of practice or you you're doing whatever this is and then you're upset and you're stressing yourself and you're worrying about what people are thinking about you um it's like someone needs to take a rest and pay attention to what they're doing it's like someone could have left you alone right now this high priestess could have left you alone right now because she could have seen whatever this was coming and she wanted to avoid whatever it was because she didn't want it she didn't want it to revolve herself around this and allow it to change her world. So she cut you out and took a break, a break from you, you know, because she felt like someone needed to focus on mental health because this is a lot of thinking right here with this three of swords and this and this nine of swords. Like it's like ever you were stressing this person out or you were stressing yourself out as ever this person could tell you haven't been sleeping a lot, like. They say you've been jumping around from side to side. Like the three of swords and then the three of cups. It's like you've been jumping around too much, partying, having fun, uh, talking to too many people. And you're not sleeping a lot. Like your conversation could be annoying like this person didn't like talking to you like whatever you were talking about like this person could have talked could tell that you are lying and it's like why the fuck this person keep calling me lying all the time thinking i'm stupid like i know this person was out with other people it was just like a lot you know what i'm saying and it's just like i'm less stressed being away from you <laughs> you know so it's like after this person that was dealing with you needed a mental health break because you about to drive them into the insane asylum or your beliefs, your lifestyle, like whatever it was, is like was going to catch up to you eventually and you need to take a break because like the four swords is like the sick home. Remember I was telling you like the high priestess? Them bumps and all of that shit like that. Like, you got to pay it. With the three of swords, man, you got to pay attention to what you're doing, man. Because, like, the four of swords can mean, like, bed rest, sickness, illness. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a mental health or physical health because of all the shit that you've been doing in the dark is going to come out in the light. I have a buy. Physically come out in the light where people can see. Like, you're sick or something like that. Like, you know, it coming out like you being exposed. Because, mm. And it was going to come out eventually. So, it's just. And then this is the winter card as well. So, something is going to be exposed this winter. It ain't even winter yet. It says delays, worries, insomnia. I told you someone wasn't sleeping. Financial trouble, disloyalty, infidelity, separation, divorce, change of plans. Something stops suddenly. I told you. Business delays, exhaustions, drain, legal action, legal battles, unhappiness, loss of willpower, lack of interest, disconnected, passive aggressive, seek inner guidance, focus on yourself, your own power, don't play the victim, action is required, be decisive, moving forward, modesty. And again, I'm about to tell y'all from my other little cardamancy source here. Because, like, the four spades is definitely, like, bed rest, sickness. Okay. The four spades. Illness. Recuperation. The need for caution. The sick bed. A hospital room. The coffin. A jail cell. Rest. Confinement. Exhaustion. The need to take it easy. To move at a slower pace. Bedridden. Feeling fenced in. Staying at home, an unhealthy situation, feeling trapped, sick, or feeling sick and tired. So, I'm trying to tell y'all. It's like someone needs to slow down with all of these women that, who were all of these loose people that they're dealing with. That they're keeping secret, that they're trying to hide. You need to calm down because this shit is going to be exposed. Do you understand? Like, people won't be able to look at your mouth. Look at your face. They're going to be able to see 
what you've been doing. You're understanding it's going to be a nightmare because people ain't going to be able to stop talking about you. Yeah, you see whatever happened. You see what happened to so and so on, so and so lip and shit like that. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? So, if you had a certain standard and a practice of life where you were committed and you weren't all of the place, your life and your world wouldn't be upside down like that. And that's what the Hierophant wanted you to see. So it's like you have to take responsibility to understand whatever you do in the dark will come to the light. That's what the Hierophant is telling you right here. It's like the Hierophant is letting it talk about you because you gave them something to talk about. You know what I'm saying? And then like this also goes into... Remember I was saying no romance without finance. I don't feel like someone would have just walked away. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, it says financial troubles as well. So, like, that could have a lot to do with the worries as well. Even though I'm not seeing no pinnacles out here at all. So, that's definitely telling me. For me to have, like, channeled that song before I even came in here. And this is the four diamonds. So, again... You guys need security. You need like a safeness around you. This is telling me like you need to like stop tripping on shit that is not advancing you in life with this four space and pay attention to what is actually placing security around you. This is someone that needs to focus on their security and what matters. Someone isn't focusing on what matters right now. Not focusing on what matters. Not focusing on family. Just remember the emperor. It's like it's just like God is asking you to be an emperor. Like slow down what you're doing. Like these are not caring connections. These are not people that you love. People that love you. I feel like someone is pushing people away. Someone is pushing people away that really love them and really care for them for uncaring connections. And you don't like people talking about you and what's been going on. But you keep making front page news. Like these secrets keep coming out. These secrets keep getting exposed. Like you're trying to keep them held within or... It's like these the women could be telling on you. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, please pay attention to what matters. Do you understand? So this says financial responsibilities, financial affairs, a hoarder, a tight wad, meeting demands, savings, business dealings, difficult choices, careers taking center stage. Be open to all opportunities. Embrace change, new material assets, documents, a paperwork new wardrobe stability so again like stop focusing on this dumb shit and please whoever this is is doing this running around and got all these secrets and all this hidden shit you gotta chill on that because i got a deep feeling like god about to whoop your ass if you don't chill the fuck out bro because god is being so present in this reading it is like no joke it's like the hyper friend the hyper friend the hyper friend, the friend it's like if you don't chill the fuck out. I definitely feel like your ass is about to get the whip. Please give me guidance from the Hierophant, please. The Hierophant needs to speak. What is this? The sickle. I told you. Cut the bullshit out and get to work. Like, I'm serious. And then this is the jack of goddamn clubs. So, like, please. I really do feel like this is someone going through some type of depression as well because of lack of financial stability and things. And they're focusing their energy on whoring around and being like a hoarder of like negative shit. Look, the grave. You got the grave and then you got the crossroads. So, it's like you're, God, it's like you're worrying me to death. Whoever this Taurus is, I feel like. God is literally saying you're worrying me to death because you're at this crossroads in your life and it's like you're just stuck and you're just standing there and it's like you're not making your way out of this shit. It's like, you see how this Knight of Pentacles, this Knight of Pentacles is right here? Do y'all see that? That Knight of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles is personal success, is personal reward. It's like, 
God wants to really acknowledge you for all of the hard work that he wants to see you to do, but you're not doing it. Like you got like God will show you a sign. God will show you a sign as soon as you cut something out. I want to say it has to do with some laziness because now I'm seeing the, the pinnacles and the diamonds coming out. And it has to do with work and God wanting you to receive the message of personal success. But it's like you got to want it. You got to show God that you're willing to take the responsibility that number eight. Listen, the strength, the number eight. Overcome temptations and things that you know are not good for you. You know what I'm saying? Because whoever this woman was, was able to look at you within a few seconds. I don't think that this person wasted. I don't feel like they wasted time at all. Whoever this person was with that 10 and that number 8, they took responsibility. They, they were responsible for what they needed in their life. You could not provide that to them. They were able to look at you very quickly and see that you were not trustworthy and they were secrets. This person wanted commitment. Cut you out, buried you, and opened up the door for new communications. Like the Jack of Diamonds is new communications about financial investments, like receiving loans, receiving gifts, you know, receiving open doors. Like as soon as they cut, as soon as this person cut you out, buried you, new doors of prosperity came for this person they did not stand in no crossroads with you that's why they got that queen of damn diamonds this person was smart you're stuck in the crossroads with your stealth do you understand trying to figure out if you want to make your way out of this and like again if you don't decide to cut out certain activities and certain behaviors and act the way that you were raised i feel like someone was raised with certain standard like you could have even went to catholic school you could have went to catholic school for god's sake and you're running around like a fucking heathen and I'm, I'm feeling like someone is losing people around them that really love them like there may not be a lot of love around them. you know because they too busy you have to I want to say, like, take the lead of the high priestess. Like, this person got up and left you because you weren't, you weren't being real. You understand what I'm saying? And this person could be the, could see the flaw and the fraud straight from the gate. So you need to look at yourself in the mirror. Listen, you need to face your own shadow. You need to face your own shadow. And see what that person seen in you. Listen, the phoenix. Come on. It's time for transformation. This is a new phase. Rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, a change of mind. And then you got healthy choices. Making healthy life choices. So again, Taurus, like I definitely see that there was someone that was very wise here. She seen your shadow and got ghost. She's still out there dancing, having a good time. There's still someone that it's like you're being called like intuit intuitively to look at yourself and to remember where you came from, bro. Like just I like I'm getting like someone like legitimately like the hierophant is all around this table and it's the hierophant in the upright. So you know right from wrong. You went to Catholic school. Like God could have taught you himself. So why live against your teaching? It's like God is looking at you three times. So I don't know if you went through the same lesson three times. But it's time for you to get it. There's There should be no more repeating of this chapter in your life. Like you've had three times to complete this phase. If you don't watch it, and if you continue to stand at this crossroads, you're never going to get the Queen of Diamonds. Every Queen of Diamonds that come into your life, they're going to leave you. Do you understand? They're going to leave you. Like this lady said here. Always be the first lady. Marry for love, for money, but most of all for companionship. 
Don't just take the picture. Enter it. All right, Taurus. So this has been y'all's reading. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. I'm trying to make sure that I get yeah, I used all of the cards. So shit, y'all y'all read out of nine decks. So listen, <laughs> y'all show me some respect and hit that like and that subscribe button. I love y'all. If y'all want to book a personal and private reading, um, y'all check out the description or the about tab on my page. And, and remember, no romance without finance. You got to have a J-O-B if you want to be with me, baby. No romance without finance. And, uh, again, I'm serious. I really do feel like I don't even think that this person has a job. Because that's what it's saying up here. This person ain't got no job. Only thing God wants you to do is cut out the bullshit, the depression, or whatever the fuck this is. Because, again, I definitely am getting here. God wants you to stop. Focusing and thinking about negative shit and focus on the money. And pull your life back around. Get out of this crossroads. Because everybody that loves you is going to leave you unless you boss up. So, Taurus, this has been your reading. This has been Scorpion Reds. I'm out.